Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful zigzag daisy bracelet with bugle beads. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And one more thing I want to tell you is that down there in description you'll find a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you like making it or not. This is on my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips, and you might also want to subscribe there for new inspiration and just to save time and enjoy the process of creation. Just follow the link, subscribe there if you want. And down there in description, you will also find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations, all my social networks where you could share your work that you did following my tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Ato beads. These are bugle beads that are 7 millimeters. These are seed beads in silver and red color. These are 11 oz. Here I use uh, lobster's claw clasp and two jump rings. You could use other type of clasp you like. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. And now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle and I'm going to start. Okay guys, and I'm starting by picking up six of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, and now I have six on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I will make one more knot and pull again. Now I have this beautiful circle of beads here and now I will go through some beads in this direction, let's say through two beads and I'm going to take one red ato and as I take it I go through the opposite silver bead of this one that I'm exiting out of and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to or uh, you could remember it by going, counting one, two beads and going through the third one. This is how you find the opposite. Okay. Okay, guys, now I have this. It, and what I'm going to do next is take one red bead, one bugle bead, and four of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down just like this. Then guys, in my next step, I'm folding those beads in this direction and I'm going only through the bugle bead. I'm skipping this red one. You see, I'm not going through the red seed bead. I'm going only through the bugle bead and I'm pulling here in this direction. Then I go through these three silver beads, sorry, four silver beads. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to take one bugle bead just like this and I'm going through these four silvers. Okay, now I have this. Now, after this step, I'm going through this silver bead here, this silver ato that's in the center of my work, one of my petals. 
and now I'm going to take one red bead and go here through this bugle. Okay guys, now I have this. This is the beginning of my bracelet. And now in my next step, what I want to do is take one red bead and then I'm going to take six of these beautiful eight holes. Okay, six. And I'm going to slide all of those down just like this. And now in this step, I'm going back through all of those beads like this in a circle because I want to form my flower here. And I also want to push this as close to my work as possible. Okay. When you pull, you go like this. Now I'm going through two beads in this direction. Then I take just one red bead and I count one, two, and go through the third one in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. And I pull. Okay. Now in my next step, I'm going like this through all of my beads. Then here back through the bugle. Just like this. One more time here through these four beads. Then here through this silver. And now guys, I'm going to take just one red bead and go back here. Then here and through this bugle and this time you could go also through the red beads. It doesn't matter. Okay. Then here, guys, I go through just one silver bead, okay? And here, after my flower, I need to make another of these, okay? So what I need to take is one seed bead, one bugle bead, and four silvers. Okay, four silvers. And I'm going to slide those down just like this. Okay. And in my next step, I'm going back through the bugle. Okay. Then I go through these four beads in this direction. Take just one bugle bead, go back again, like this. Then go through the silver in the center, through one of my silver petals, and take just one red bead and go here through the bugle. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to start my next flower. And in order to start it, I take a red and six silvers. Okay, I have my six silvers here and I'm going to slide those down just like this. Now, guys, I'm going back through all of my beads like this, forming my flower. Then I go through the next two beads, just like this. 
I take one red bead and as I'm exiting from this one I count one two and go through the third one just like this okay now guys I have this and what I want to do next is like I showed you before I want to go through all of those beads in this direction then back here then again through these four beads and here in the center to connect my work then I take one seed bead go back through the bugle and because I've been too many times through these central silver beads what I want to do is keep it because I don't know if I could go third or fourth time through it I'm not sure and I will go back I want to go back in my flower through this bugle okay okay and I'm back here now guys from here on I will start this one in this direction okay you see where i'm exiting i'm exiting out of this uh, silver bead here and i'm always keeping one bead after where this uh, red bugle bead and seed bead is i skip just one and this is where i start my next element from and if you forgot how I'm doing those elements, just rewind the video and repeat this from here to here and you will be able to make the whole bracelet. Okay, and I will continue doing this and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continued beading, this is what I have. I had to add a new thread to my project at some point and I have a lot of tutorial where I'm showing how to add a new thread and if you want I will give you a link if you ask me in the comments and uh, after I finished my last flower I made a knot and cut my thread and now my bracelet is almost ready I just need to attach the clasp and how I'm doing this I'm taking here one of my jump rings and I will open this up then what I want is to go through one of my beads here let's say the one that's one bead away from my next element from this seed bead okay then I'm going to put my clasp and I'm squeezing squeeze back okay now I have my clasp attached from this side and I will attach a jump ring from the other side the same way I showed you and my bracelet will be ready. Okay guys and now I attach this jump ring the same way I showed you and now my bracelet is ready. My wavy daisy bracelet with bugle beads is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make new jewelry two times a week and you will be inspired often and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where in only two three minutes you will be able to see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not this saves you time this is on my second channel bijutel fast clips and you might also want to subscribe there for new inspiration and just to enjoy the process of creation just follow the link and subscribe if you want you will also find in description full list of materials linked to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me